So if I look at cosine squared, automatically, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do is, if I look at cosine squared, um, what I want to quickly do is see if I can transform that, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I could separate that, my cosine squared, um, but it's really not really going to help me out. So if I transform this, I will get, uh, what is it? Cosine squared, I'll get uh, 1 minus sine squared, right? Why is that minus? Because that's what we just remember. The, um, remember, you have sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1, right? Yeah, I see that. So what does cosine squared equal? So you subtract uh, sine right. squared of theta. So therefore, I have cosine squared of theta equals 1 minus sine squared of theta. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Just remember this and manipulate it however you need to. Like I remember okay. that, but I didn't know like why. I know. Was. You just write it. You can write it out every time. You'll be fine. So right now you get one minus sine squared of theta. Now automatically, what a lot of students will try to do is just say, oh, you know, cancel those out, right? But be careful. It's not this. That's not what we're doing. If it was, if it looked like that, then yes, you could cancel them out. But this problem says it's 1 minus sine squared. So you can't just cancel them out. They're not the same. What we do notice here, though, is I can rewrite this as, do we know our favorite term? A difference of two squares again. So therefore, I can write this as 1 minus sine of theta times 1 plus sine of theta. All over. 1 minus. So it equals 1 plus sine. So guys, you got to look for those little tricks. I know this is something that doesn't pop out to all of you, <coughs> but look for that difference of squares and kind of stuff like that, the factor in which we're going to practice today. Look for those little techniques to help you out.